What was the Treaty of Versailles? Who were the key people involved in drafting the Treaty of Versailles? What were the main provisions of the Treaty of Versailles? What were the results of the Treaty of Versailles? Hello friends, today I'm here to answer you all these questions. The Treaty of Versailles was the primary treaty produced by the Paris Peace Conference at the end of World War I. It was signed on June 28, 1919, by the Allied and Associated Powers and by Germany in the Hall of Mirrors in the Palace of Versailles and went into effect on January 10, 1920. The treaty gave some German territories to neighboring countries and placed other German territories under international supervision. In addition, Germany was stripped of its overseas colonies, its military capabilities were severely restricted, and it was required to pay war reparations to the Allied countries. The treaty also created the League of Nations. The chief people responsible for the Treaty of Versailles were U.S. President Woodrow Wilson, French Premier Georges Clemenceau, and British Prime Minister David Lloyd George. Italian Prime Minister Vittorio Orlando was a delegate but was shut out from the decision-making. Wilson sought to create an egalitarian system that would prevent a conflagration similar to World War I from ever occurring again. Clemenceau wanted to make sure that Germany would not be a threat to France in the future, and he was not persuaded by Wilson's idealism. Lloyd George favored creating a balance of powers but was adamant that Germany pay reparations. The Treaty of Versailles gave Germany new boundaries. Alsace-Lorraine was given to France and eupen malmedy to Belgium. Territory in eastern Germany was awarded to a reconstituted Poland. Memeland was placed under French supervision, and Tsarland was placed under the administration of the League of Nations, but France was given control of its coal. In addition, a demilitarized zone was created between Germany and France. Germany was required to accept responsibility for causing all the damage of the war that was imposed upon the Allies by the aggression of Germany, and to pay an unspecified amount of money in reparations. Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles under protest, and the United States did not ratify the treaty. France and Britain at first tried to enforce the treaty, but over the next several years a number of modifications were made. Germany ignored the limits that the treaty placed on its rearmament. Payment of reparations proved ruinous, and the attempt was abandoned after the advent of the Great Depression. The League of Nations lasted for 26 years and had some initial successes but failed to advance a more general disarmament or to avert international aggression and war. It did, however, lay the groundwork for the subsequent founding of the United Nations. Some historians criticized the Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles is one of the most controversial armistice treaties in history. The treaty's so-called War Guilt Clause forced Germany and other central powers to take all the blame for World War I. This meant a loss of territories, reduction in military forces, and reparation payments to Allied powers. Some historians think the Treaty of Versailles was, in the words of British economist John Maynard Keynes, one of the most serious acts of political unwisdom for which our statesmen have ever been responsible. They say it contributed to German economic and political instability that allowed for the formation of the National Socialists, Nazis, just a year later. Other historians note that the Treaty of Versailles was actually very restrained, Germany and other central powers were not occupied by Allied forces after the war. However, it would take Germany several decades to pay off their reparations. Treaty of Versailles The treaty was also much more lenient than the Armistice Treaty. The Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, Germany forced on Russia when that nation negotiated an exit from the war a year earlier. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.